Hello everyone. Happy Independence Day. On this occasion, I have brought you a simple sponge cake recipe in tricolors. I remember seeing these as a child in some Iyengar bakeries. Let's try and recreate them. It's easy to make, needs just a few ingredients and tastes delicious. So let's dive right in. Mix the dry ingredients first. Flour, salt, baking powder and sugar. Mix it well and set it aside. Here I have separated the egg yolks and whites. We'll first work with the egg whites. Beat the egg whites on high speed until foamy. Now add half the sugar and continue to beat until stiff peaks form. Add the remaining half of the sugar midway while beating. Set this aside and now take the egg yolks. Add water, oil and vanilla essence. I am using a strong vanilla essence so just a few drops are sufficient. Blend all this on medium speed until well combined and foamy. Now add the dry ingredients and blend again until you have a nice smooth batter. Now slowly fold in the egg whites in parts using the cut and fold method. I have folded in all the egg white mixture and here we have a thick smooth batter. Divide this batter into three equal parts and now we will add the colors to it. I am using food gels, saffron, spinach green and white. Add 4 to 5 drops of each color to separate bowls and mix until you get a homogeneous batter. Pour them into 3 greased baking pans lined with parchment. These are the cake tins I have made myself. I will soon upload a video on how you can do it. Now bake these in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Meanwhile let's make the frosting. To a bowl add the butter and icing sugar and beat on high speed until pale and fluffy for 5 to 6 minutes. Our frosting is ready and so are our cakes. Let's assemble them. Take the green layer, apply half of the frosting and smooth it out evenly. Now place the white layer over the frosting and repeat with the frosting and the third saffron cake layer. Do not frost the top. Chop off the uneven edges on all four sides and now cut them in slices of desired size. For the final step, I am using some desiccated coconut. Dust the frosted portions of the cake with desiccated coconut and dust off the excess. That's it. Our tricolor cakes are ready. Make and enjoy them with your friends and family and let me know how you like it. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.